Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology. Today I am going to show you how to enable and configure capital expense module under Enterprise Planning and Budgeting Cloud. So this is a hands-on session. There are two parts of this video. In today's video I am going to show you basic configuration. In the next video, we'll talk about advanced configuration of capital expense. It is done in three steps. Step first, I show you how to create application. Then I show you how to enable capital expense module. And finally, we configure capital expense. So as always, we start with login to your cloud instance. When you login to your cloud instance, you would find this screen and I'm going to create a completely new application. So I use planning and budgeting module. Start this. This is enterprise module. Click on enterprise. And you can name your application. In this case, I'm going to define an application name EPBCS. Then this is a sample CapEx application. And then you define same as you did in the past or previous example for workforce and um, financial module. You define a start year of your application. So I select a start year for 2016 and to 2025. I like to create this application for 10 years. The start month continue to be January. However, based on your project requirement, you can make it April for fiscal year or maybe some other month. And weekly distribution, I keep it as default as even distribution. I want this application to be multi currency, therefore, I use UST and multi currency true. Keep the other option as default. There is one input queue where your planners are going to input number and one reporting queue. Go on next. This is the final window you see, and you click on create. Now, create will take some time. Behind the screen, when you create this application, it creates a as space queue with some predefined dimension structure. So capital expense module is basically a best uh, configuration or best practice module, which you can directly implement as a template and make the required changes as per your project need. It will take few seconds, we'll wait and then we continue to the next step. So well, as you see, your application got created successfully. The next step, I'm going to enable CapEx module. In order to do this, you go to application. Under this, go to configuration and enable your CapEx module. So there all the artifacts application type is enabled. You select capital and click on enable option. And what option you like to enable, you can define. In this practice application, I use new and existing asset, capital investment, so tangible asset, intangible, lease, named asset. For how many years of asset you like to maintain per year? So based on your requirement, you can give. I give over here 10. And I also like to manage existing asset, including asset movement of existing intangible asset retirement transfer and improvement please refer your design document or ask your functional user what options are applicable into your project i use asset detail as asset detail and asset class if you like to change the name you can rename it as well and modify or clear then you enable your workforce sorry capex module it takes again few more seconds to minute and once it is done, we can log off, log in and see there would be an icon available for capital expense. Let's wait for this to be completed. Perfect. So as you see, your application for capital functionality got enabled. To see this into effect, you should log off and log in and you would see an icon would be available with capital. I log off and log in again.
and you see there's a capital module enable and visible to your home page now the next step once your application got created the next step you enable capital process and then i'm going to configure my capital so in order to do this step first i'm going to load dimension so in this example we are going to load anti dimension go to configuration select your capital module and select entity and you can upload metadata from there i already keep my metadata into excel file and this you can download from your student folder under capex this is sample metadata file i use a comma separator over here in a subsequent session we'll talk about in detail how to create metadata file or extract from your source system it could be your erp system as well so for now we load this metadata file from this path point your file and you can validate and import this creates a two job validate and import you can refresh database right away or you can defer it so i defer it and first i look at my import status you see the import got successful with green flag in addition to this you can also check a job has been created for validate and import it is recommended to refresh your database once you modify the application structure especially when you load metadata so refresh your database click on create and refresh your database it takes few second to refresh your cube or 2 minutes depends upon the size of your cube So refresh database is done. You can finish and continue to the next step. Now I'm going to configure my different types of assets. So you can check also your refresh is considered to be as a job, and you can see the refresh database is done. So go to your application configuration option. You can go from home page or from there itself. application configuration and define your different assets configuration i am going to configure tangible intangible asset click on assets so first i configure tangible and then intangible asset under action i am going to add more assets click on add and provided name members what member you like to select based on your requirement you can select this members so in this example i use the lan 06 machinery o6 building machinery equipment furniture office vehicle computer laptop So based on your requirement you can select these members I uncheck this I want only these members click okay So this is a member you can see in your summary screen name of the member alias name data type and other properties if everything is good you can click on save and continue Then I am going to set up intangible assets so again click on add and provide it name members select intangible asset like your brand valuation copyright computer software uh 
media content and probably non complete agreement this is a member i have chosen once you enable this feature it is recommended to refresh your database once again so refresh your database you can create as a job or go back to your application properties and refresh your database we'll wait for a few seconds and once refresh is done we'll continue your database refresh is done let's go on to the next step next i'm going to configure my planning and budgeting module so go back to your application setting configuration capital asset this time i configure my planning and budgeting and planning and forecasting preparation and you can define for plan and forecast both of them so for planning i start from january 2017 fi 17 to 20 january to december and for forecast i select i am going to do 2 year forecasting from 16 from july for next fiscal year sorry it is from june so it will take next month as july so many of time you hr more your time period your financial uh, hierarchy from january to december sometime your financial modules from april to march so your hr calendar is different your financial calendar is different so check with your design document business user what is your forecast and planning cycle click on save i want monthly forecasting in this scenario and monthly forecasting for my first 3 year first 2 year and quarterly monthly planning for first 2 year then for 20 fi 19 quarterly and for fi 20 yearly it means the more future period you go the more summary planning you do the near future you do more granular planning click on save and the next step you go to set up user variables so that you cannot open a data form or uh, perform invoke any calculation script unless you in, uh, set up your user variables so this you can do it from home tools set up user variable and check for what value you need you need to look at your application structure so in this case i assume my application default currency usd the entity entity i use as us sales sales us if you're not sure you can cross check from this hierarchy and check the member sales us exist or not sales us exist i select this reporting currency it could be same as base currency i can define reporting currency usd and scenario i use plan scenario so you can select member from here alternatively you can type it directly oep plan and working version also i'm going to use oep working version here you define from where you want to start your capex process so i use from current year or it should be from next year click on save your all variables are saved and your further business rule and data form would be based on this variable now you can open them and check the last step i do it for today we continue go for configuration configuration section and set up my different asset class configuration tangible and intangible asset 
so I define first assets asset app one sec set up expense and cash flow assumption let me correct you set up your expense and cash flow assumption asset we have already done in the past so you are going to give a value these are the driver value based on your requirement so expenses the repair percentage insure per insurance percentage maintenance and tax for fi 17 so this is in decimal place so be careful about it you give for example i say one percent of my uh one percent goes to repair for laptop for fi 17 for computer also goes to one percent and so on the insurance two percent the maintenance cost three percent and taxes you can define what taxes cost you so i for the sake of simply i given some number in the same fashion you define for different asset class laptop computer vehicle if you're using if your application based on certain compliances like ifrs these values should be coming as per ifrs compliances of depreciation and expenses you need to find depreciation and amortization and in order to calculate your depreciation value whether it is straight line depreciation or double decline you define salvage value and the number of years the lifespan of your different assets for example for laptop i give three years the life and depreciation method i select as straight line and depreciation convention you use um, portrait actual date prorate actual date and in the same fashion you can define for other member you can look at your student guide or your double decline depreciation prorate actual date in a similar fashion you are going to configure you're going to input value for other members once you define depreciation amortization last is your funding and cash flow right so funding and cash flow cash incidents you can select cash incidents you want current month next one before one month so from this given list you can select the one which is applicable in your scenario in this case in this scenario i select same month for all combination for my all assets same month same month and so on then you define cash flow staggered period and funding percentage for vehicle i select the funding percentage 50 percent Sorry, funding percent and funding instance. So 50% is a decimal to so 0.5 turns out to be 50%. Funding incidents I give same month. And then you can define funding stagger period as well. So in a similar fashion, you can perform funding and cash flow for different asset elements. Click on save. And the last step you continue to the same thing for your intangible asset we have done for tangible asset in a similar fashion you can do for intangible asset so you can open intangible asset from here assumption for intangible assets and define different values so you can define value based on your project requirement as you see i define over here intangible asset for expenses you can select value so i'm going to select one percent for expenses and so on insurance maintenance in a similar fashion you can define expenses for intangible asset depreciation and amortization and finally funding and cash flow so these are the sample inputs i prepared for this application Based on your requirement you can give different input values so that's it for first part of setting up your capital business process application in second part i'll talk about advanced configuration 
so that's for today should you have any question please feel free to write to bisbsolutions.com thank you